these are my early Blender render looks like. These are my current render looks like. The point of this video is not trying to prove that you can get them from here to there. Sure, you will if you put the hard work in. The question is, how can you get it from this point A to this point B fast? In this video, I'm going to give you a roadmap how to learn Blender fast using five simple steps. Let's get started. The step number one to learn Blender fast is to start to say no to the stuff that you don't want to learn and to be very honest with it. One of my videos, I was asking you guys to figure out why you learn Blender. But most of the time, the why question is a little bit hard to answer straight. So the way I figured it out is to learning to say no to the stuff that I don't want to learn. For example, in my experience, when I started learning Blender, I was trying to creating photorealistic stuff inside Blender and eventually creating product images and to serving better for my clients. YouTube definitely became the first educational resources for me to learn in Blender for free. The moment I get into the Blender community, I started learning, oh, there's huge amount of information out there and people can really pick and choose. And there's a lot of stuff that not really related to what I want to achieve. For my business, I want to have a photorealistic product rendering and also blending the photo with 3D background. So that's kind of a general idea of what I want to do. I have no interest in animation. I have no interest in designing characters. I have no interest in doing sculpting inside Blender at the beginning. That actually helped me quite a bit when I'm searching for YouTube videos and tutorials online. I can just quickly just say no to all these very attractive topic and very cool stuff. I can just say no. And then I can quickly start narrowing down to the stuff that interests you the most inside Blender and keep learning. Instead of finding an exactly answer of why you're learning Blender and exactly things that you will be learning and spend your time with it, that doesn't happen that easy when you just jump into a brand new field and to start learning. So this is my tip number one. The tip number two to learn Blender fast is to find a Blender teacher or Blender artist online. There are two types of Blender artists out there on the YouTube. The type one Blender out there, they are the Blender artists who are providing course online for free for everybody. And they monetize their artworks through other different channels by selling reels, 3D models, and everything else. But they don't directly make money from teaching courses and selling courses for a living. Just like the Blender Guru. He's doing his website separately to selling the 3D materials for 3D artists. The Tupper number two Blender artists out there are the ones who are actually selling pro-level courses to making money, to monetize their work and services. So if the artist you like is the type one, which is providing free tutorial artists online, the best opportunity for you to learn from him is to actually bench watching all his content, everything from the beginning, every single videos, and it take notes and to really see the process, what he's doing with his tutorials and the courses. Your job is to filter out the repeating patterns or the repeating process they are using during their free content. You are going to identify the valuable part or process that you are not really understand, you don't know, so you're definitely gonna learn that. But the disadvantage for this type of learning is take a long time to do and to filter out the process and learning of tutorials online. If you couldn't find the paid course from this particular artist that you really love to learn, then unfortunately you have to find other artists who are providing similar content to you and they have selling courses. So my solutions for this is that you are going to keep finding the type number two artists that who are actually selling pro courses to explain their whole process and doing the blenders online to getting the access to the full course and to see the entire process, how this artist that creating their artworks and how this person dealing with the problem solving issues and the troubleshooting 
when they dealing with Blender. It will cost some money, but to be honest with you, there are tons of tutorials out there, very cheap and low price. It doesn't cost too much money to learn. This method is going to save you huge amount of time to learning Blender at the beginning. There are a couple YouTube channels that I really love, the CG Masters and the Flip Normals. They are definitely great opportunity for you guys to buy some courses to learn Blender. If you want to learn Blender fast, just invest some money into the Blender Pro course. It will save a lot of time for you to learn the exact things that you want to learn. It will be a good investment. It's not a cost for you. The step number three to learn Blender fast is to find two types of Blender courses that you're going to need, or even just two courses, period. The type number one I call Blender Library Tutorial. To be clear, this is not a sponsored video. My favorite Blender Library Tutorial is the Blender 2.8 Icopedia from the CG Master. I'm telling you, this tutorial covers every single thing inside Blender. It feels like a Blender official menu to me, but it's in a very nice video format and it actually expands every single tool inside Blender. I know it's the Blender 2.8, it sounds a little bit outdated, but trust me, no. This video library course is going to help you get a very nice overview about what Blender does and also give you details and specifically tool by tool, modifier by modifier. It's really going to help you to do that. However, the right way to use this kind of courses is not to binge watch hours and hours to to look over every single thing and try to remember every single videos and the features of Blender, that is not the right way to use it. What you need to do is you purchase the course and spend a couple hours to just kind of skim over the important content and to break it down the general structure of this material by sections and to really understand, oh, this is the something that I interested to want to learn and quickly go look at it. And then if you have more time, then you can just rewatch the part that you haven't actually explored yet inside Blender. And this is going to save you a huge amount of time to really help you to get what you want immediately. And after that, then you're going to definitely start practicing and building your project inside Blender. And you are going to use this type of course as a library. When you're stuck on certain materials or modifiers, certain functions, you're not really to know what to do, go back to this course and to watch again in the detail and very specific area and to understand what that means, how it works. And this is going to help you so much and learn things very fast because having this type of course with you, you just basically have a troubleshooting team to help you to catch things up so quickly uh, instead of following another type of tutorial to really learning the entire process is go back to the certain part of video to dig out oh that blender artist kind of mentioned this issue in this long process of his creating his artwork and it just takes time to navigate and finding what exactly you want to learn and to understand and try to prove then the second type of the course you need to buy, you can just buy one or two for the type number two, is to buying a course that the artist is showing the entire process from the beginning of modeling, texturing, lighting, and rendering, setting, and even post Photoshop, everything, the entire process, how this Blender artist creating the artwork. You want to focus is the entire workflow and how this person break down the process by different sections and the steps. And you want to know the structures. And once you purchase this type number two courses for you, you want to know how to create a original art based on your need. You want to know which process that you want to focus on more to getting your work a little bit better and focusing step by steps instead of just following the courses with no thinking and just thinking, well, I'm going to push through. I'm going to get this thing done within a couple hours. That's not going to help you because as you know, the details will actually make your art stand out. So if you really want to do good on each single steps at the beginning when you're learning Blender. So this is the step number three to learn Blender fast by looking for two types of Blender courses specifically help you to understanding the Blender software and the Blender artist process how they creating artwork then in order to imply to your workflow. The step number four to learn Blender fast is actually start setting up your practice routine. 
I know this sounds boring, but this is the key. The commitment without consistency to back up, you are making no progress, you will not finish your project and to achieve the pro level result that you want to achieve. Treat your study as a practice session, just like a workout. It's not about the length of your one single session. It's about how many sessions you have participated over the weeks, months, and the years. And treat yourself as a pro if you want to have a pro level result and a pro level income. Think about that. All professionals have their routines. Professional painters, they paint every day. Entrepreneurs, they reading books every day. Professional athletes, they train every day. That's how simple it is. You just need to open up the blender and work for an hour or two hours a day if you can. And then forget about it. Don't need to think about the outcome. Don't need to think about the result when you start learning blender every time practice. It's just like you go to the gym, you work out, you're not gonna continue to think, oh, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds, I'm gonna lose 10 kilos, whatever in the certain amounts of time. It doesn't really work that way. Key to building a routine or habit is trying to normalize and new things come into your life and just doing things repeatedly without thinking about too much. Don't be fooled by the talent things. You may think, oh, artists need to have a talent in order to be successful, in order to do the good works. No, in my opinion, talent is way overrated. It's just like some secret in the business or a million dollar ideas without commitment and consistencies, you are never getting from point A to point B. So set up your routines today and get yourself moving. The step number five to learn Blender fast is actually teach while you're learning. I know this sounds counterintuitive. How can you teach while you're learning? Well, let me explain my experience running my YouTube channel. I have excelled my learning rate due to teaching Blender. A few things happened in my journey. First, because I'm still learning Blender while I'm teaching, when I'm learning Blender, I'm not just only trying to find a troubleshooting solution for a particular problem. I also keep my audience in mind to think about how can I share this valuable information to a group of audience and how to do this in a better way to let people quickly understand how to solve this problem. Because this type of thinking, when I approach a problem using Blender or reading or researching stuff online, I'm actually just trying to figure out what is the problem solving process. How can I explain this better? And I'm actually digging deeper into the problem and looking for the solutions, which really helped me to understanding the problem even better and to seeing things a little bit bigger scale rather than one specific thing. So this actually helped me to learn Blender way faster than just constantly looking for a quick solutions as to solving one specific problem. Second thing happened when I'm running my YouTube channel. Because I have this beginner mindset and a beginner approach when I'm learning a Blender, my approach as a beginner and is very organic, very raw, and very relatable. And a lot of people probably have the similar thinking like, oh, I want to solve this problem in this way because we're beginners. There's a lot of information we don't know and we are not aware of what's happening. So if I'm using this type of thinking and to solving problem and explaining using this beginner mindset and approach, and that I'm gonna reach a lot of audience to getting a lot of engagement on this problem solving process. A lot of people connect to my content and it feels like, oh, you're directly talk to me. That's exactly what I'm thinking. And this became a huge advantage for me as a YouTuber while creating these educational content because I'm directly talking to you and to solving the problem and also trying to reshape the beginner approach and using a better solutions through my teaching or content. So that's why I gain a lot of support from you guys, which give me a lot of motivations to continue learning Blender to helping more people in this community. The third thing happened when I'm teaching Blender while I'm still learning is actually getting a lot of positive feedback about my tutorials. The many times 
there will be some experienced Blender users in the comments to give me feedback saying, well, there's a better way to do this. Well, there's a easier solutions. I'm actually attracting more people to solving this problem through my YouTube channel instead of reaching out to people to find out what can we do better. This became a benefit of teaching on YouTube. You will get some really useful tips and advices with the people from all over the world with more experience in Blender. This is a huge plus by teaching someone to do this. In another word, I highly encouraging you to start a YouTube channel, start sharing what you have learned so far and to communicate with others and to helping others. And this is a great opportunity to learn, improve, and also you will be thrilled by open it up yourself to the people in these communities. You're not just growing yourself, you're actually helping more people to be successful and to join in the 3D communities and to share what you learn. This is an exciting journey and uh, this is way beyond just learning a skill for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and this is everything I want to share in this video. Feel free to hit likes and the comments and let me know the topic that you want me to cover in the future videos. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.